We lit live. This is WPPC Chicago. Yeah. 77.3. Your hottest digital station. Now. 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 One and only DJ Malone, man. How you guys doing, man? Chicago 77.3, the best place to be at on any day. Really, how you guys doing? I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and uh, I'm here with greatness into the building right now, man. Um, that beautiful smile that you guys see, man, she really, I, I really like how poised a person is and someone who's real professional and everything. So let's go introduce her real quick. Go introduce yourself. I'm Alexa Lucky, recording artist, actress, music producer, currently based on the west coast so joining from california so super hey. excited to be on and, and connect. man it's it's an honor to have you on here as as, as a caliber artist such as yourself man and uh i really do appreciate you know you bringing positivity to 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 chicago 77.3 i appreciate it and thank you for having me i really really am looking forward to it so let's go ahead and go into a time machine how did this all start for you Okay, so we're going to have to go way back, way, okay, way back, right. um, 20 plus years or so. I started in music as producer and songwriter. So I got uh, started as a piano player, keyboardist. Um, Alicia Keys is one of my favorite artists. I think she's brilliant as a, a songwriter and musician. And so seeing her really inspired me to start crafting songs of my own. And so again, this is, you know, at a very early age, started writing and, and producing. And I put out my first single when I was about 16, uh, 15 or 16. And from there, it's been a journey of just, you know, continuing to develop my sound and continuing to develop as an artist. And so in addition to releasing my own music, I've also written music for television, for film. Dope. And so it ju it's just, um, you know, a journey of creation and, and exploring and releasing sound into the world. I like this. I, I like how you say releasing sounds into the world, positive vibes and everything. Um, did you come from a musical background or was, was, were you kind of the front line of that? What, what, what's going on? That's an interesting question. So my mom for sure is musically inclined. Um, so I think it's definitely inherited. Um, and so from there, you know, it's just, been again working to craft my own sound and figure out uh you mentioned it earlier what that what that positive uh piece would would be for for me to add to the world and, and my contrib contribution to the world I, I, I and, and i can respect that um now now growing up it's like were you in any choir band anything like that i did sing in in choir um church choir growing up okay for many years and um i mentioned playing piano um and then from there there's an old production software it's still around but fruity loops um, yeah i started on it i started yeah. on fruity fruity loops is, is where the, the the ogs and uh <laughs> i'll throw myself in that category but um once i after i started playing piano um i, I started producing in fruity loops uh, before moving into some other stuff that I use now. So for sure, choir, um, a little bit of band, uh, but but mostly just producing uh, on my own. That's dope. Alto, soprano, what uh, what, what, what do you wear? Yeah, I sing alto. alto. Okay. I was I was a bass. I was a baritone first, and then I became a bass. Oh, wow. So you're so, like yeah. that, that instrumental piece that just brings it all together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, thank you. Thank you for putting it out there. Without me, people, there's no song. Thank <laughs> exactly. you. No, no, seriously, seriously. Definitely, yeah. man. I, I appreciate that. So let me ask you this. How did you go about finding the sound? Okay, once you say, hey, I'm here, I really want to do this, what what does this that sound sound like? Because you had to design it from your head to the beat. So how did that go about? Yeah, I mentioned one of my influences earlier, uh, Alicia Keys. Another person that I really look to production-wise is Timbaland. And so, you know, you kind of hear your, you listen to your inspirations and you, you have to say, okay, but where do I fit into this and what do I bring that's unique and set right. apart from them? Right. And so really it just came through exploring um, just trial and error, I want to say, you know, you, you just create and create and create 
until you find something that feels like it authentically represents you, authentically represents your personality, your character. But for me, most importantly, tells the story that you want to share. And so that's okay. that's the big piece for me is, is story. I um, In my, my bio and social media, it's storyteller through music. And so that is really what it boils down to. But it just, you just explore. You, you play with different sounds. You find, you say, okay, this is almost it, but not quite it. And, and you keep going until you find what it is that really just feels authentic and true. I respect that. I think too, I think so too. Is is that a lot of people look at it from the uh, when when you when you just start out, it's like you're just throwing at anything that hits the wall and it sounds good. And I think sometimes I like that process when you first start out because when when you actually start getting into the music business and understanding about structure and everything, you just want to have one day where it's like, hey, yo, I just want to throw whatever is at the wall and see what sticks. And I think the good thing for me too, being that I've been on this journey of producing and songwriting, like I said, for 20 years or so, is that you have time to explore, but also the brilliant thing too, is that your sound kind of changes, right? So as you grow as an individual, you experience the world. I love traveling. Um, I love right. just being able to connect with different people in different cultures. And so being able to integrate that in my music as well. Um, so even, You'll hear I, I use like different instrumentation or different instruments from different regions around the world. And so that's one of the exciting things, too, about producing and crafting the sound is that you get to bring real world experiences. To I like music. that. I like that. That's dope. That's dope. I like that, man. So um, let's talk about the single, man. What's, what, what we got going on? What we got cooking up? So the new single is all around. It's available currently on all digital streaming platforms. There's also a visual that I released to all around that really, I think, I'm a, I'm a visual and auditory person. And so being able to combine the two to again, go back to story and communicating the full story was important to me. So I, I really love the video and encourage everyone to go check it out. It's on YouTube. So if you just search Alexa Lucky all around, you'll find it. But all around, is a very 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 special piece for me because okay. it i'm i'm a curious person i love just learning about life about different cultures and being able to look outside my window so to speak and see the beauty of the world and that's what all around is about it's a celebration of of life a celebration of the creation and um all the beautiful things that surround us. I like that. That's dope, man. That, that, that yeah, beautifully said. I like that. Um, is this off of a project or is this a single right now? It's a single, but there is a full project that's coming. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for Q1 of 2025. So All Around is the first single off that project. There will be another one, another single later this year, um, but there will be a full project uh, top of next year. Okay, are we uh, EP wise or album? What, 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 how, how can we look? I'm I'm aiming for an EP. Okay. I'm aiming for an EP. Yeah. the The main thing for me is just being able to craft something that's really cohesive sonically and story wise. And so I think I want to go about four or five songs. I like that. It's, go get in, get out. I like that. It's just, especially in this day of age. Yeah, streaming has really changed the game, you know, um, and so it's important for me that, you know, we capture the ear of the listener, but also get them something that's that's super solid and that um, is cohesive. And so I think for this piece, the story that I'm going for and kind of the the, the vibe that I'm feeling right now, I think I want to go EP, the EP route. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you a deep question because I always, I always want to ask songwriters about this. AI is here, so now it's it's becoming not just a oh well, hey, and you know, no no pun intended, hey Alexa. Um, it's becoming a actual integral part on you know society, music, everything. So, what do you feel as a person that is a true songwriter, and then now? 
a person can just come in and just say, hey, AI, I'm feeling this way, this is that and the third, write me a four-page paragraph, boom. How is your thoughts on that now that it's kind of here? So for me, it's important to communicate from my perspective, my unique perspective. And I think that's something that we all own, right? We each individually see the world in a unique way and we, we um, experience the world differently because of that. And I think, unfortunately, AI is limited in that respect, right? Like I can feed it as much as I want to and I can go to it as detailed as I can in my prompts but ultimately it is limited in its view and in its perspective. And so for me as a songwriter, I, I, just, I just think I offer something different that you know a, a technology or a computer uh, can't offer. Because the, the thing too is computers can only do what you tell them to do. Yeah. Um, and, and so you know, for me, I think it's a great tool maybe if, if you need a little assistance. Um, I, I see there are a lot of um, production uh, tools as well in the AI vein where they can extend songs or, or even yeah. produce complete songs. But I think, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I love to travel. I just came from Japan. And in yeah. Japan, you know, they have instruments that we don't have in the United States. Yeah. And so yeah. my ear and my heart connects with that in a way that a computer can't. And so when, yes, I, when I get it's time for me to craft a song, I can bring my experiences and my perspective, but um, a computer is limited in that way. So I, I think that's sort of the disadvantage of, of AI. And for me, it's something that, at least in my artistic process, I am choosing to, to stay away from. I, I respect that. I respect yeah. that. Um, and then you're right. You're also right about different sounds of different cities. Um, you know, when especially when I was in my producing stages, I, you know, I'm from Chicago, so um, there's a certain type of grittiness that I had when versus to like when I when I'm here in Houston, it's a different type of sound, the feeling. Um, you know, I'm I like to get in, integrated into the city, so I can have have an understanding how I feel from once I'm in in once I'm integrated, I can feel myself from wherever my standpoint is on how the city is from my standpoint. Does that make sense? hundred percent, hundred percent. I agree with that. Um, and, you know, so right now I'm, I'm in California, not too far from the water. And immediately, you know, the water has an effect on everyone, whether they realize it or not. It just eases you. It, it kind of puts you at, at, at rest a little bit. And so that definitely is in my sound now compared to when I was in New York for a, a bit, right? And New York is fast paced. You have the subway going, you have... Yeah. You, it's just constant um, noise and different sounds all the time, all the time. And so, you know, cities and, and location definitely has an influence on your on your music and on your sound because yeah. of the rhythm, because of, of the pace and because of the people, too. Right. People um, on the West Coast are different than than the East Coast. And so that it whether you're conscious of it or not, it, it definitely comes across in your music. I like that. I like that. Um, let me ask you. Let me ask you. I'm gonna uh, ask you this, and this is this is a real deep question as well. If we had to create a EP, a five track EP soundtrack of Alexa with songs that that are near dear to you, what songs are on that five EP? Ooh, I love this. I love this. Okay. One, I'm going to go with, there's a song. Um, first, I'm going to start with All Around, my single. Okay. Okay, because that Gotta is that. very, that is very um, key to where I am in life right now and just my appreciation of the world, people. Um, so for sure, All Around, my single. Number two, I'm going to go with Love's In Need of Love Today, Stevie Wonder. Okay, That's I like that. Um, that is a brilliant piece that it's, it, it reminds me of just ease and, and, and peace and comfort. And so those are uh, things that are important to me in life. Um, this is a good question. 
I'm going to go in a sentimental mood, Coltrane. Okay. okay. Um, again, I'm, I'm sticking with that, that peace, reflective, introspective vibe. Nothing wrong with that. Um, that's three. Your World, Jonathan McReynolds. Okay. Love Jonathan McReynolds. McReynolds, brilliant songwriter. Yeah. Brilliant producer. And then to round it off, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna go another Jonathan McReynolds song. It's called "Lover of My Soul." Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And, and and all the songs you name are very very peaceful, positivity. Um, and 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 it's 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 it fits you. It fits you. And so that's what that's that's what I was going with your your question. Uh, EP of Alexa, and, and so I like to think of you know serenity, peace. Ease, relaxation. So I think those songs communicate that well. Hey, I like that. Dope, man. That's dope. So what? So what? What do you do on the occasions, Alexa? Like, what do you like to do for fun, man? Like, what? What? What you into? For fun, I love hiking. And being on the West Coast, there's there's ton of opportunities to hike. Um, and I mentioned, I I guess one of the themes that I I keep sharing is my appreciation of of the world and of nature and of people. Yeah. And hiking is really the perfect opportunity to just sit back and, and observe and see yeah. and, and also listen. Um, in, in all around, actually, I sample. It's very, very minor and sort of in the background, but it's actually some sounds sampled from one of my hikes, mm. um, some water sounds. And then in, in the production of it, I'm beatboxing. But I also I also mix in some bird chirping and it, it, again it's very minor and probably um, something you probably wouldn't notice until after me sharing it and so just being out in nature it, it the sounds I like to incorporate in my music as well and then okay. um, so in addition to hiking I'm a big reader and reading helps me with my writing so okay. as a songwriter I find it very 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 important to. Hey, I like that. The only, the only uh, uh, book I, I really read that was really I was really into. See, I'm more of an auto book type of guy. Okay. But the only book that I really, really was really into was Killer Mockingbird. Okay. And that was that that was my favorite one, hands down. Besides that's the little classic. chicken noodle soups, I I like the Killer Mockingbird. Yeah, yeah, that's a classic. So, um, so well, let me ask you this: If you could perform with anybody, who would it be and why? With anyone. Yeah. Alicia Keys, okay. and I, you know, I mentioned her as one of my greatest influences as a writer and as a producer. Um, and so being that she's had such a heavy impact on um, me getting involved in those two areas, being able to come full circle and be on stage with her would be amazing. And then number two would be Jonathan McReynolds. Uh, of course, the, you gotta have him. Of course, same, you gotta have him. The, the same reason I love, love, love Jonathan McReynolds, Mick Reynolds, again, brilliant songwriter, a brilliant singer as well. And mm. I've had the opportunity to see him live several times. And every time my mind is is just blown. And so That's I amazing. would love to do something with him live and in the studio too. Good, that, that is important. That is important, man, because a lot, a lot of people don't realize when you're in the vibe of the studio and it's like, it's one thing I can send you a track and you can send me a track through the email, but it's a whole nother joint when we're in the studio together and that's when, when that word vibes come from, that's, that's where it, it, it roots from. Exactly. And that's one thing that, you know, technology is so great that I can create, create something on my computer, just send it over, you add your verse and we get it done. But that collaboration when you're just in the same room with someone it's it's unmatched it's unmatched. yeah you can't beat that energy man. It, you yeah. can't yeah um producer wise who would you like to work with producer wise okay i'm gonna i'm gonna come from two different areas israel houghton Okay. Um, okay. A lot of people I mentioned are songwriter producers, so but Israel Houghton, and even I'm gonna throw in Jonathan McGrill. Okay. Yeah. Israel Houghton. I can, I can see the influence though. Yeah. 
Yeah, those are those are two. I, again, I just think brilliant artists, and you see them. What I appreciate is when folks have complete involvement in their artistry from the writing, the production. It has a different feel when you see them live. And the live yeah. show is important to me because that's the opportunity where you get to connect, connect with the yeah. audience and, and um, bring it to the world. So Israel and Jonathan McBrown. Yo, I like yeah. that. I like yeah. that. Um, if you could perform anywhere, where would it be at and why? I think for sure the garden, Madison okay. Square Garden, that's, I feel, most artists dream, right? Iconic um iconic venue that just means so much in new york city is one of my favorite places in the world um and then number two it's always been a dream of mine to perform at the american airline center in dallas okay so i'm born and raised in dallas okay. and growing up i've been to a number of concerts there and it's always so interesting right as an artist you're there, you're enjoying the show, but there's a small part of you that's just itching to get on the stage and you're like, yeah. okay, let me let me hop on somebody's instrument or let me just d dance a little bit or hop on background or something. Um, so it's always been a dream of mine. At every show that I've been to there, I'm like, man, one day, one day I'm going to so. on the stage. So American Airlines said it. Put that in the universe, man. Put yes. it in the universe. Yes. That's dope, man. I really, I really am a pr proud of you and everything that you become, man. Alexa, keep doing you, man. Keep doing you. I've, Where can the people find you at? Everywhere. Everywhere. Every social media is at Alexa Lucky. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube as well. So music, um, visuals. I also, um, yeah, so music videos, singles, everything you can find, live performances on social media at Alexa Lucky. Okay. Where'd the name come from? That's, <laughs> I love this question because a lot of people think it's a stage name. That is that is my name given to me by my mother. Hey, okay. Yes. Okay, shout yeah. out to mom. <laughs> yeah. That's Alexa what's up. Lucky. Yeah. That's what's up. I like that. I like that. It's you. And that's the only way you can be, man. There's only one. There's only one. And I, I you know, embrace that to the fullest and just, just try to bring me and, and share me with the world. Hey, that's what it is right there. People all around the world, make sure you guys support, support, support. Always support the people that I bring up here. You want to know why? They dope as hell, man. <laughs> so make sure you guys check them out and everything, everything that she has going on. Uh, the, the, the song is out there. Uh, it all streaming uh, everywhere. Yes, all around streaming on all platforms. And again, the visual is on YouTube. So definitely go check that out. Okay, dope, man. I'm excited, man. Make sure you guys run her analytics up. Run it up, man. Please, Please. do. Thank Please you. and thank you. Um, before you go, I always ask artists if they could do a drop for me. You're going to say your name, and I'm rocking with Chicago 77.3. You bet. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Alexa Lucky, and I am rocking with Chicago 77.3. Gang. You guys already know what time it is, man. It's the one and only DJ Malone. We're going to go ahead and head out on that note, but make sure you guys support her all the way through, man. It's the one and only DJ Malone, Chicago 77.3. We out. Oh, yeah. One. Cool. That was good, man. Terrific. I appreciate you. I, I, everything was everything was was smooth. Everything was smooth for me. What you? How'd you feel? Good. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Okay. I loved it, man. I love the positivity. And those questions, those are some good, some good questions. I love that uh, that question about the EP. Oh, uh, thank you, thank yeah, you, man. That, that's good. Uh, let me tell you. I can tell you on on the actual date. What's the date? Oh, today's the tenth. So. I'm thinking I get the flyer going tonight uh, by the seventeenth. You're you're on at the seventeenth at five p.m. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. September the seventeenth, five p.m. So I get awesome. the the flyer for you and everything. I'll probably send it over to Mike, uh, Michael. I think he set it up. And um, you know, don't don't be a stranger. If you need anything, you know, then let me know. Yeah, what's your socials? I mean. Uh, uh, it's at DJ Malone Pro. Okay. 
DJ M A L O N E P R O. That's my personal one. And then the uh the station one is Chicago seven seven three radio. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And then uh you know, just let me know, uh follow me, just let me know it's you, and then you know, I'll follow you right back. All righty, terrific. Man, this has been a pleasure. I really do appreciate this, Alexa. I really do. Thank you. It was great chatting with you. Great connecting with you. Yes, yes, ma'am. And then more, more to come. More to come. Yes. Keep doing oh, yes. you. Oh yes, appreciate it. Have All a good right. one. Okay. You too.